Good day, Intella Travel Agents. Hello, Margaret in Texas. Oh, Austin, I love Austin. All right. My name is Jessica Sittermer. I am your director of training. For those of you who know me, hello, welcome back. For those of you who are brand new, welcome. And for the, today's topic, I would actually like to know how many of you know me? And it might just be from these, from these um, Friday, it might just be from webinars, but I'm just curious um, if you have um, encountered me in any way at an ITQ, at a dream maker, anything like that, put yes. If, you, if this is your first time experiencing me, uh, press no, uh, because um, only I, I'm going to be talking about some stuff today. As you can see from our title, it is Mindset Check-In, and I want to know that there are some people out there who know who I am. So, oh boy, getting lots of no's. Okay. So just so you know, just to set your expectations on today's training, uh, every time I do these trainings, it is usually a business topic, okay? So you can go back to the last one and the one before. You can go back to all of them in your Intel Tutorial Library, and you can see some, uh, I think last month I, or two weeks ago, I gave you 90 prompts and pictures so that you would have pictures and prompts for your social media for the rest of the year. Those are the kind of things I usually do. But today, and, and I will answer all of your questions, but the way I like to start these off is with like a 10, 15 minute training. Yes, for three years. Oh, Margaret, we go way back. Okay. Uh, so because this is a little different type of training, it's a mindset check-in. You know, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my mindset. Um, I, I just want to introduce myself to the people who are new and have never heard of me. So as your director of training, I uh, run the Dream Makers. I, I sing, not well, by the way, not well, but I make a joyful noise. I make up songs for all of the suppliers. I am the host of ITQ. And um, whoever is my co-host is the straight guy. I am the comedy. So I bring the energy. I bring the fun. And that is what people know me for. And whenever I see them, they're like, oh, I want some of your energy. What did you drink this morning? What have you had? But today we're going to get a little into a behind the scenes um, of the last few months. And just because I received this message, this email from one of our agents, and I asked her if I could anonymously share it so we could see if maybe other people were feeling the same way. Because quite frankly, um, I am used to, you know, I've been a career coach for over 20 years, and I'm used to being able to change my mindset. And I'm used to focusing on positivity and joy and gratitude. I'm used to doing all that stuff. But I've got to admit to you all, it has been challenging since this all began. And the most challenging part of it was the moments when I wasn't able to change my state, when I was staying in that sadness, that fear, that heartbreak, that hopelessness, and I just didn't have the will to pull myself out of it. Now, granted, with me, it only lasted a day or so. Oh, well, in the beginning, it lasted like two weeks. I had to binge watch Sex in the City, um, but I decided yesterday that it was important for me to share this because um, she asks if I've seen this in others. And the fact that I think a lot of us are struggling in silence 
alone. And even if you're in a house full of people, you can be struggling with it alone. Like, like in other words, if uh, you know I, you've got a family around you, like for me, I gotta put on a pretty face. Uh, not pretty face. Hello. Um, I gotta put on a happy face because that's kind of who I am in my family with my parents and my sister and. I'm the one that is the voice of reason. I'm the one that always makes people feel better. I'm the one that's always in the good mood. And when I'm not, people get afraid. People are like, uh-oh, if Jessica can't handle this, how are we supposed to handle this? And I found that I was putting a lot of pressure on me. Now, every one of you is gonna have your own experience, okay? So that's, that's the conversation I tell myself. If I can't get through this, if I'm struggling with this, I can't tell anybody. Because if I tell people, it's going to freak them out. But what I found was yesterday, I kind of like it, the, the straw kind of broke the camel's back. And I, you know, I shared with, um, with a coaching program that I'm in and I got some coaching on it. And they said, you know, if you can't be vulnerable, if you can't share what's going on with you with other people, how are they supposed to feel okay? Like that they're going through this. They need to see that people who, you know, are shiny, happy people on social media, maybe behind the scenes are not having the easiest time. And, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about my story, but first I wanna address this lovely woman's story. So she wrote to me and she said, I find myself at a standstill a lot. I think maybe I overthink everything sometimes. Anybody else out there an overthinker? Uh, my hand is raised. In fact, I'm gonna raise both of them because I gotta overthink which hand will have more of an impact. I came in the month of June knowing nothing. I was green as a Christmas apple, learning how to do this. So much to remember. At the same time, I find it interesting and amazing. So I broke the paragraph off here because I wanted to point out that this is somebody who's new. And I already saw a lot of you said, no, you don't know me, you're new, you've just been in a week or you've just been in a month. So you might be feeling a little uncertainty about this. I mean, you've come in in a very interesting time in the travel history and, you know, I, 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 I know that we're going to come out of it. We always come out of it, right? But, you know, we don't know when. There's an uncertainty. Um, people are starting to travel again, which is really exciting. I'm seeing a lot of the, well, I have a lot to do with the ambassadors, so I'm seeing the trips that they're going on. Um, but look at the, the juxtaposition here. On the one hand, she's, in one sentence, she's like, I know nothing. I got to learn how to do this. There's so much to remember. And then on the other hand, she's like, and at the same time, I find it interesting and amazing. So that's something I wanted to point out because I'm sure a lot of you, if not all of you, have been feeling this roller coaster and it could be happening within the same minute. It's like one minute you're like, I don't know how to do this. I can't figure this out. This is not working. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, but it's so interesting and it's so fun. It's travel. And you're like, Jekyll and Hyde, right? So if that's you, I just want you to know you're not alone. Other people are feeling the same way. I already see people saying, I'm in that email. This is me exactly. I can relate to this lady. I feel the same way. Amen to her letter. So I hope she's on. Um, or watching the replay, but people people are feeling the way you're feeling. The next one, which is very close to my heart, uh, because this is something that as a coach, um, I've gone through many different uh, relationships to this. When I first started as a coach, I was um, in my late 20s, early 30s, and I would say to people who were in my coaching session, in my coaching group, I would say, you know, I would give them, I wanted them to do goal setting. And the way I was taught was to ask people where they want to be 20 years from now. So I had a room full of people, you know, in their 60s. Some of them were in their 70s. 
And when I would go around the room looking for their career goals, people would say, I, I want to be retired in 20 years. Some people say, I want to be alive in 20 years. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of defeating the purpose. You guys are missing the, the point of the exercise here. But no, my youth was missing what people in that age group were really experiencing. And to make them look 20 years ahead in the future was kind of frightening. And I only know that because now, when I look 20 years in my future, being in my 50s, I can relate to what they were going through. Yeah, in my 50s, I'll be in my 70s, I hope I'm alive. Maybe I'd like to be retired, and by retired, I, I will always be doing things, but I wanna do things I'm passionate about, like this lovely woman, who's, you know, and I, I wanna do things that have meaning, and that if I'm not getting paid to have a job, I wanna be doing things I love. So that is what I would have to think about 20 years from now. So here's somebody, and then the other thing I went through was, like you all are in a really challenging time for travel. When I, very, when I first started coaching at the Cinematographers Guild, uh, and for those of you who are not familiar with uh, the Hollywood industry, uh, the cinematographers are the camera crew, and the cinematographers themselves are the directors of photography, they create the lighting, they, they paint with light. They create the mood of every scene you see. And then they've got an entire camera department that supports them, as well as publicists for in that guild as well. So I came in right when there was a strike. There was a television strike because of the writers. And that changed everyone's career and it changed what they thought was, was their trajectory because here were commercial DPs who had been making millions of dollars a year shooting commercials and the rest of the industry, the, um, the film and the television people would turn their nose up to commercials. They wouldn't do commercials. They were too good for commercials. That was their mindset back then. And the commercial DPs were perfectly happy about that because they were making their million dollars a year working, you know, three days here, three days there, three days here, three days there, while the TV DPs were working, you know, 90 hour weeks minimum. Okay, so all of a sudden this, this strike happened and these big name DPs wanted to make money and wanted to work their craft so they started taking the commercial jobs. And all of a sudden, my guys who'd been making a million, million dollars a year, who'd been putting their kids in private school, who bought these beautiful homes, who basically weren't saving all that much because they just figured that this was gonna go on forever, had the rug ripped out from underneath them. And that rug never got reset in its right place. Because what happened was these TV directors of photography were like, oh, wow, you know, for three days I can make, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars. I'll do that. And so they kept doing commercials even when they went back to TV. And then when they talked to their friend who worked in film, the film guys, I mean, all of a sudden we had all these Oscar and Emmy award winners saying, yeah, I'll, I'll do your dog food commercial. And they're like, oh my gosh, we have Academy Award winner Alan Davio doing our commercial. He shot E.T., by the way. And um, not literally. E.T. lived and went on to his, his planet. And it's 2020. He could, be, he could be landing here any day. And for those of you who don't get my sense of humor, I tried to find something funny in all of this. Because I figure if this is what 2020 is, then you know what, if anything's possible, then the next time my doorbell rings, I am answering it because I am convinced it will be Thor. Yes, the Chris Helmsworth version. All right, so anyway, let's get back to her letter. I am 65. I know age doesn't matter as long as I'm willing to stick with it. It is a lot to do. I joined because it sounded exciting and then the travel part of it. I don't travel. Been on a plane twice, going and coming. 
that was over 40 years ago. So, I mean, how many of you out there thought this sounded exciting and you're not really sure what to do and you haven't even traveled and you're thinking, what in the world? I asked myself, what am I doing? And then we get into the deeper concern. Can I afford this? You know, there is a, a cost that comes with this, a monthly cost. And some of the trainings have costs, like if you were to go on a fam trip, I am on a fixed income. So there is this fear. And the way I coached her was um, very generally, because I never want to affect your career path and your decisions. I just want to ask you questions that will help you decide what's best for you. So my question to her was, do you want this to be a business or on your fixed income, do you want this to be a hobby? Because this can be a great hobby, learning about travel. There's plenty of free resources to learn about travel and you know, watch exciting videos. And you know, with that fixed income, you can take $10 a month and you know, hopefully put it aside or maybe you know, sell one thing on eBay or have a garage sale or something that will you know, give you enough money to go on a fam trip. And if you don't know what a familiarization trip is, then I advise you to go to the departure lounge, which I'll show you in a little while. And under the pinned announcements, you will see our ambassadors do the whole training on what a fam trip is and how you can get on one. And they are very inexpensive prices so that you can experience them so that you can talk about them. So, you know, if you want to do this as, as a hobby, then and then make a sale once in a while and help somebody out you can certainly do that you know how much you know your, your 39.95 a month is going to be with IntelliTravel and you can figure out how to cover that nut and then you don't have to pay for anything else in fact you can look at ways to book small things for people so that you can make enough to cover your IntelliTravel or you might really want to work this as a business. And if that's the case, then you've got to dive in. You've got to educate yourself because it truly is real that the more you learn, the more you will earn. I mean, I am doing, you know, I've, I've done a how to get make six figures uh, with, with groups and it's in the Intel tutorials. And I have a really exciting training coming for our Pinnacle event that starts looking, I'll give you a hint, don't tell Tara, um, that starts looking and teaching of how to do seven figures. And it is so doable if you follow the steps. But for those of you who haven't hit six figures yet, I would like you to hit six figures because it's the same, it's the same system. But once you learn how to do six figures with it, you can learn how to do seven figures with it. Okay, so the thing is, some of you might not want to make six figures. Some of you might want to make an extra thousand dollars a month. And that can be done. So you have to decide what you want this to be. All right, then here's where the roller coaster road goes. And let me tell you something, this is not just COVID related and everything that's going on around COVID, okay? This is being an entrepreneur. This is being a business owner. I have had my own business. Well, technically, you know, when I started out as an actress back in the early 90s, that was, you know, I was, I was, I was an entrepreneur. I mean, I was, I was my own business. I was selling me. Uh, and there were a lot of ups and downs, which included going to work for a restaurant, okay, <laughs> like and, and and waiting tables, which was something that was new to me. And man, I just I gave a hundred percent to everything, even working in the graveyard shift at a deli, okay. But it didn't take away the rejection that constantly came with pursuing an acting career, and then a writing career. 
and then producing uh, where I had some better results. But the bottom line was, she says each month it seems like a toss up. All right, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen. It's every month you're gonna have ups and downs and it might not necessarily even be involved in the business. It might be, did you drink enough water that day? It might be, did you eat enough food? It might be, did you get exercise and move your body? It might be, did you get good news or bad news? All of these things affect your business. So finding the tools, and those are that's for another mindset slash tools call to to get the good habits to help you. Uh, that is going to be what's going to get you through this. So I think in the second slide I had just broken down to show you the different the eight different thoughts that came into this. I find myself at a standstill a lot. I think I maybe overthink things. So if that's you then you're with her. I came into the month of June knowing nothing, green as a Christmas apple, learning how to do this, so much to remember. Yes, there is a lot to remember. But the first thing you wanna remember is that weird saying that I will never understand. I get the concept, but I don't understand it. And that is how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And I don't understand it because we don't eat elephants. But maybe that's the point, because if we said, how do you eat a cow one bite at a time, all the vegetarians would get upset. I don't know. Either way, you're eating an animal, so I don't get it. But the point is, is you do one step at a time. And something I always train new agents to do is to put down, you know, think about what your goals are, even for the next 60 days or for the next 30 days, and write them down and then take the action steps and put them into your calendar. I'm gonna take this, this course, I'm gonna do this many posts, and this day I'll do one post, and this day I'll do one post. And if you break it down, then it takes the overwhelm away. At the same time, I find it interesting and amazing. It is. Travel is probably the most interesting and amazing thing there is out there. Um, maybe comparable to the small niche of people who are doctors who find um, looking inside of bodies interesting and amazing. I am not one of those people. Um, but there are. I mean, hey, some people find video gaming interesting and amazing. All I know is that travel is at the top of most people's lists. So, yes, you're in the right place. And age doesn't matter as long as you have the right mindset like she does and she's willing to stick with it. It is a lot to do, yes, and you can do it. You join because it sounded excited and the travel part, you don't travel, been on a plane twice, well, we talked about that. You're gonna to put together a plan so that you can figure out how to travel, but before that, you're gonna watch the videos, you're gonna watch the Intelli tutorial libraries that have the different vendors. You're gonna watch the Tuesday and Thursday night webinars so you can see their videos and see the amazing places. You can talk about a place that you've learned about even if you've never been there. I ask myself, what am I doing? Can I afford this? I am on a fixed income. We address that as well. Is this a hobby or is this a business? And you can change your mind as time goes on because you want it to bring you joy. You want it to make you happy. Each month, it seems like a toss up. I got a name in my CRM and that was like a deer in headlights, not knowing what to do. Okay, well, that might be a question that you ask today. Um, what do you do with a name that comes into your CRM? Well, first of all, you can reach out to them and ask them if they were, you know, what, why they reached out to you. Is there a destination that they would like you to look at for them? And if so, you'll be able to get plenty of help from our, com from our community. And uh, the other thing you can do when they're in your CRM is you can send them newsletters for free. You can send them postcards for free. All of those things, you could add them to your social media and invite them. And then when you say, am I the only one or have you seen this? 
if I can show you the comments, yes, this will be replayed. It, it, it will live in the Intelli Tutorial Library under customer, uh, customer Webinar Support, I believe it is. Uh, am I the only one or have you seen this? So I've already seen this about 50 times at least on this chat alone, all right? And if 50 out of 300 are admitting it, I know there are more, and imagine that on a level of 60,000 agents. And then imagine it outside of that. I'm not an agent, and I'm feeling it. And I can promise you there are other people feeling it. So I am going to just, from my heart to yours, be truthful for you because it's very easy to look at people's social media, including mine. My brand is energy and happiness and motivation. So it's my job to get on social media and motivate and bring happiness and show energy to people because that gives them hope. If she could do it, I could do it. But the reality is some days I'm barely hanging on. I worry terribly about my senior parents. I struggle with being an extrovert who is not only, you know, um, limited by quarantine, but, you know, there are people out there who are social distancing and, and they are, um, they are being social, but I don't feel comfortable doing that because I see my senior parents almost every day. So I've been super careful and the only people I've really been seeing are my mom and dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew who warms my heart every time, and my best friend who luckily before all of this, just a few months before all of this, moved with her husband from Los Angeles to my community in Las Vegas. And the two of them are completely quarantined because she's also high risk. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. And I am an extreme extrovert. I get my energy from people. So because my I'm not getting that energy fed, some days I am really down and I have dark thoughts and I get out of it. Not, not so dark that you've got to be worried about me. Um, like not so dark that I need to call, you know, like when I call, you know, the, the mental health line for insurance that they're like, if this is an emergency, call 911. Like, you know, but I know that there are people who have been in that place. So I certainly, I certainly do not make jokes about that. I do believe that there are a lot of people who are, are who are, you know, I'm barely hanging on. There are people out there that maybe have one pinky and the other hand is hanging. And I feel so strongly for those people, which is another reason why this has me up and down. But I wanted to share this with you all because I want you to realize that you're not alone, that even the people, I promise you this because I'm one of them, even the people who you see up there on social media preaching gratitude. I mean, there's there's a monk out there, Jay Shetty. <laughs> I'm reading his book. And he and he talks about the monks, and even the monks, they judge, they have bad days, they say negative things, they do things too, and then they have tools to get themselves back. So maybe there are a few enlightened people on the planet, but everybody else is with you. So if you are someone who needed to hear this today, I am talking to you directly right now. 
we are in this together. You are not alone. And I mean that in the sense that even though you might be all by yourself, quarantined, some of you, maybe you're in a bed and haven't been able to get out or see family. Maybe, you know, you have, a, you know, a health issue. Maybe you're dealing with COVID. Maybe you're all alone and have no way to see other people, except maybe on Zoom. But maybe you feel so badly about yourself that you don't even want to get on Zoom because you don't want people to see what shape you're in. There are so many people who are feeling this. Thousands of them, I would say millions. So you're not alone and you can get through this. I won't say will because it's up to you to have the will to get out of this. But what I'm saying is you can. You can find moments in your day to decide to practice gratitude and just even say, I'm grateful to still be alive. Or I'm grateful that I get a phone call from people. Or I'm grateful that I have the ability to make a phone call to somebody. I don't feel like it right now, but if I wanted to, I could. And then if you expand that a little more each day, you know, I'm going to put this down now and I'm going to show you, oops, expand this. Um, today I did a Facebook Live. What's on my fridge? Because I, um, if you look in my stories, I, I had to make a little 12 day countdown because the election was making me so upset and everything going on with it. So there's 12 days left and I made myself a 12 day countdown and every day I pull off one of those little sticky notes and there's something special and motivational that makes me happy underneath. And every day I'll share that with you. Now granted, this is not my, um, this is not me to follow. Me to follow and, and friend is IntelliJess. The other one is my personal page, so I'm not allowed to accept your friendships there. So please friend me here at IntelliJess. This is where I share um, all the training stuff with you, uh, all the good stuff, right? Give you our new address, hobby ideas, because the three sessions ago, we did how to turn your hobbies into, uh, into generating work for yourself. Uh, clients. Okay, so now I'm going to get to your question. So somebody asked, what is a CRM? Okay, great question. That is under your age, my agency, it is your customer management system. So when somebody goes to your website, so you have an IntelliTravel website. If you don't know that already, um, let's go to my agent website. And you will see uh, that we have, I also did um, one on how to create a bio, because this is something new that we've added. And you are also perfectly welcome to steal mine. I am not a travel agent, you guys. I am a career coach. Uh, and so on my personal page, I do have a travel section that I use to help teach you. So if you have multiple things that you're doing, to be compliant, you have to keep them separate. So I have different boxes on my website. So this is what I wrote on my website. And you are welcome to use any of that. Okay, and by the way, these blogs that I've created here, I took a picture from unsplash.com. If you're not familiar with that, you can look back um, on last, on last, uh, the last one I did, I talked about unsplash.com. Here's how you protect your stuff while traveling. And there's an entire blog. And guess who wrote it for me? IntelliTravel. I didn't write that blog. And I put it up there to teach you. You see, IntelliTravel has a blog. Now you cannot use your, you cannot use the pictures that we use. 
because they've paid to license that. But Unsplash.com does not um, share, uh, Unsplash.com does not charge anything. They are license free. They share it with you to use, or you can use your own personal picture. So I did leisure travel. I looked under leisure travel and I found, okay, all these are good for you. See, I didn't use these because I'm not a travel agent, but you can use them um, for tips for deciding when to travel again. I think I used that. Uh, optimize your travel wardrobe. Oh, I don't know if I used that yet, but I could tie that into two of my things. Um, but if I keep going, I will find the blog that I'm talking about. Luckily, we have given you lots of good content. So, wow, it's been a long, it's gone a long way since I found that one. Thank you to Tara and her wonderful marketing team. Uh, you know what? Let's go maybe send your business. Maybe send your business travel. I don't know. We learn together. Okay, business travel. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I've used this one, six ways to avoid getting sick. Uh, here it is, here's how to protect your stuff. Know this, I did not use this picture because they paid licensing for it, but I used my own. And you can use the words word for word because our team has written those. I also used how to survive a long flight where I'm biting into a giant steak, holding it by the bone because that's how I roll. Okay, so uh, where were we? We so that so I also did a bio teaching you three different types of bios you might want to use, and then you can have a slogan. So I I teach. I'm a teacher, right? And many of you probably out there are teachers, but probably in like schools. And people might say to you, "I'm confused. Are you a school teacher?" Or are you a travel agent? Like, what else? And, and you can just say, making the world your classroom. And they go, oh, well, what exactly does that mean? That's a thing that makes them go, hmm. And then you say, oh, I've spent years in the classroom teaching kids. You know, we, we you know, maybe you touch on geography. Maybe you talk about the world a little bit. And now I make the world your classroom by sending you on these incredible, incredible vacations where you learn about yourself, you learn about other cultures and other countries, you learn about architecture, you learn about food and new flavors. And they're like, okay, I don't care if you're my kid's second grade teacher, you need to send me on a trip right now. Okay, so when they go to your website, all right, so let's go back to, let's go somewhere.com. Let's go back to, my main page here, if we click on this, oh, it still looks travel. Okay, good. I wanted it to do that. Um, it just used to not do that. So change your life, be travel. Let's go. I'm going to send them to my website. Yay. There's my website. Okay. Uh, and what's going to happen is register now. If somebody comes to your site and they register. They put in their name, their email, their password that they make up, and they can fill out this stuff. If you're ever doing a contest with our incentives for stuff, have them fill out everything to be eligible for the contest, okay? So uh, this way you have their information and it goes into your CRM, which again is in your back office. Now I'm not gonna click on mine because I actually have people's names and addresses, and you know, this thing lives here forever, um, including my accidentally, uh, one of these days I'll change it, but showing you my real email address, <laughs> not my IntelliTravel one. So please don't send me IntelliTravel business on my personal email or my Jessica Sidemer email because I will not answer out of principle because that is not how to reach me. And even if you feel like you've tried everything and you still cannot reach me, please be respectful of my private and business life outside of IntelliTravel and do not try and reach me that way. 
Okay. So that's what CRM is. Let's see what other questions do we have. By the way, um, a lot of people are saying they totally sympathize. Um, yeah, so a lot of people. How can you find the next opportunity to finish the Dream Maker? Well, we have one this tomorrow. We have one tomorrow. So see if you can get in there. And then otherwise, there's one more in November. Okay, so somebody is new, about a month, reached out, phone calls, email, reading and looking into info. But I had my first person try the book on my site. She could fill out everything, and once she submitted, it kicked her back to the beginning with an error code. She even tried two different credit cards. Then I tried from my back office, and same thing. I could look it up, and once I submitted it, said error and kicked me off. I love that customer. Now I can't look up flights. Fabian said he would email me that in. I'm nervous. Okay, so here's the thing. When you have a time, um, a time ticking for somebody, something for you new agents to know, um, the industry it has nothing to do with IntelliTravel. The industry does not pay commission on flights. In IntelliTravel, if you back through your back, if you book through your back office, it has a ten dollar service fee. So you get you know, a percentage of that. But if you've got somebody who's struggling with your back office, you want to take screenshots and send it to customer service so that they can send it to the IT department so they can get to the bottom of it. But in the meantime, you want to be able to take action. So you want to call the airlines and book it yourself. And you won't get commission on it, but you'll have a happy customer. And it's the same thing for hotels. First of all, you know, the simple things like booking a hotel or booking a flight, yeah, you can send your customers there. But if you want a customer for life, you really want to be doing all of the booking yourself, especially if you're new. If you're new, you're not bombarded with, you know, 100 people a day asking you to check out an airline for them. You know, when you're, when you're that big, first of all, you'll hopefully have an assistant. And secondly, you know, you'll you'll send them to your website to do it themselves. But you know, this is all about making the difference between you and Expedia. If you're just sending them to your website, that's like just sending them to Expedia. You're missing out on opportunities. If they're flying somewhere, let's say they just want to fly to Vegas and they've been to Vegas a million times. They love, you know, the plane. They take $200 with them and they're not going to spend any more than that and they're really good at it, so they keep going back. Um, maybe they'll change up their hotel once in a while, but they know the strip like the back of their hand. So all they want to do is book a flight with you. But if you book the flight and you say to them, you know, you mentioned in your, let's go back to our dashboard, and you do a customer profile form on them, you mentioned um, when I was doing your customer profile that your, your family loves the outdoors. You love hiking, you love um, kayaking. Did you know that in Las Vegas, I can book you on a hiking excursion that is literally 25 minutes from the strip? And I'll probably be like, what? Be like, yeah, I don't know if you've ever looked out in the distance, but they have the beautiful Red Rock National State Park there. And there are so many different hikes. And Jessica knows this because Jessica lives here. And this is what keeps Jessica happy and um, grounded in nature. I go find different areas to hike as often as I can. Not only that, but you can go into your shore excursion. Well, activities, um, shore excursions, which is our um, cruise excursions, also has a land um activities that you can book through them but we also have an activities booking engine and you can look for the kayaking emerald cave kayaking adventure and you can it, it, it's a 45 minute drop my, you know what from the strip it's less from my house is 45 minutes from the strip it's less and they can drive they can see the hoover dam 
And if they want to get really adventurous, they can tack on at the end of their trip, they can take a two hour drive to the Grand Canyon. All of this you can book for them and it's commissionable. So start thinking bigger. How can you create more value with them with what you have to offer? Okay. All right, I have a question. Good. I've earned commission, a small amount, but have not figured out how that's going to be paid out to me. Okay. So let's say Jessica didn't get to your question today because she ran out of time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to help and you're gonna go to the knowledge base. You go to commission. You're just gonna even hit C-O-M-N. When do I get my commission? Commissions are earned when IntelliTravel receives payment from the travel supplier, typically 30 to 60 days after travel has been completed. Please do not request commission upon purchase and payment prior to travel, immediately after travel is complete or any time prior to 60 days after travel is complete. Commissions are paid to you 10 days following the close of that month in which commissions are paid to IntelliTravel by the supplier. So, if IntelliTravel receives a commission from the hotel or cruise line in February, you receive payment in March. But here's the thing, because you did say that it's a small amount. A minimum of $25 is required for a commission to be issued. Monthly commissions of less than 25 will be accrued and paid within 10 business days following the close of the month in which the balance in your account meets the minimum. And it's all done through HyperWallet. You'll get an email when your commissions are available. So let's say you booked a hotel and you made $11. Well, go on out there and make another 20 just to make sure that it's, you know, over our $25 limit. And then, see, that was me avoiding doing math in public, 25 minus 11. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Okay, so that is how you get paid. And that is how you empower yourself as new or seasoned agents to be able to find the answers you want for yourself. So they're here in the knowledge base. They are also here in the advisor training manual. They are also here in your Intel tutorial library where you can find right here, browse by category, advisor support webinars. That's where all of mine are. So here was the one we did how to use Unsplash plus 90 picks and prompts for social media. That was an awesome one. You no longer have any excuse not to post for the last 90 days of this month. But you can also browse by categories like beach vacations, couples and adults only, adventure travel, ski vacations, or you can browse by supplier. So all of this, you know, there are answers in here for almost every single one of your questions. So before you reach out to customer service, try and find it for yourself. All right. Vacation Builder has been my issue. I'm not sure why, maybe it's because you feel that there are not, um, that there are not um, live events, but because of what's going on right now, there are virtual events that are going on. For example, IntelliTravel has Pinnacle coming up. Now granted, you needed to be invited to that, you need to be a top seller, but other companies like Delta Vacations and you know all of these other companies are doing virtual events that as long as they are you know, multiple days and multiple um, suppliers so you know even though delta is a single supplier they are teaching about all different hotels and resorts and different vacation packages so that counts all right but doing like a carnival training online does not count because that's just carnival all right um if the is the dream maker um a webinar Basically, it's a virtual event. It's like this, but it's all day long. It has me singing and dancing, uh, as well as teaching four, four really important courses for you. I teach getting started or restarted. I teach success strategies, our top four success strategies, and that's where I also teach that how to get that six-figure 
um, that six figure uh, earning. Um, and then I teach, uh, or I teach three. I teach three modules and then like a live Q and A, uh, which has a little beginner class like we do in here. The third one I teach is demystifying selling travel. So for those of you who are new and are like, ah, the phone's gonna ring. Oh, someone's in my CRM. That's where I teach you all about that. So yeah, definitely try and get in this week, this tomorrow, Saturday, if you can. Um, you, I believe you can register on your dashboard. Now we tried this last time and I looked silly, but hopefully it will work this time. Calendar of events. Um, let me see if I see all events, if it will show up. October 23rd, 24th, I'm sorry, today's 23rd. So this is, click here to register. Okay, so there you go. You can click to register and get become DreamMaker certified tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then look through that calendar of events and find the um the one for november which i believe is baltimore but you know it doesn't really matter the city right now since i don't get to go there okay are the webinar credits for IntelliTravel university uh the tuesday and thursday nights are this one is not Let's see, where is the blog location? It is on the main page of the, the IntelliTravel website. So right here, this is our IntelliTravel.com. Now you can log in to your back office or you can stay here, which is open to the public, and you scroll down to you find the IntelliTravel blog right there and click on it. Okay, so I just showed you how to find the link for DreamMaker. November Ensemble Virtual Conference does count as Vacation Builder, yes. How do I register on supplier sites? Okay, let's go back to our dashboard. And right here, how do I register with supply? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. For those of you who are new, um, or maybe not so new, but haven't looked through our back office in a while, I'm gonna take five minutes to take you on a tour, okay? So not even, I'm gonna do it even faster. So here's your dashboard. You're gonna click on everything clickable. Every, not this, you don't have to click on this. You just kind of scroll through and shout out anyone you know. Be like, oh, look, there's, there's Karen, there's Courtney, there's Donald, oh, there's Chandra, there's Lisa, there's Holly. Okay, okay, but I'm wasting time. Amanda, okay, you're gonna click on this. You're gonna click on come and take a tour, see what your advisor back office website can do so you can take a longer in-depth tour. Are you marketing compliant? Go find out. Click on all of these things. And here's the thing. You do not have to read or watch everything. Just click on it, because if you do this once a month, if you have a question, you're like, am I compliant? Oh, wait a minute, I remember I clicked on that. There's something for that, let me go find it, and then you'll find it. The only thing you do not have to click on are the hot deals in the calendar of events, because then you'll be here all year long, okay? So just know where those are. Then you go back to the top and you click book travel. Okay, so you see, you can click on book travel, hotels, flights, cars, cruises, vacation rentals, packages, activities, insured, VIP partners, preferred partners, register outside, booking hot deals. You can click on each one of those. Now, if you don't know what that means to register your outside booking, maybe today you spend five minutes just reading this page, and then you'll know. Okay, and then you're gonna go to my agency. And you've got the home page and click on the home pages because the home pages show you different ways to get to things. But that, that should be my agency home page. Oh, I guess this is at the top of everything. My profile, my commissions, my CRM, marketing and sales tools, agent only fam. So that's all there under your agency. 
but click on each one so you can see a little bit. And if you decide that you want to redo one, like, oh, let me look at my profile and let me, you know, update some things. Okay. And then we go back up to the top and we go to education. And you find the home, the Intelligentoria Library, partner education, supplier courses, destination specialists, special interest courses. Oh, keep going. Don't click on all of these. Don't have to. They're at the bottom of every page, apparently. But, you know, these are the ways that you are going to learn. And then help is your knowledge base or the help desk. If you need to get in touch with the help desk. Oh, boy. I hate this. I got to prove that I'm human. Um, please click each in containing an airplane. That's an airplane. That's an airplane. I don't think that's an airplane. That's a train. Oh gosh, another one? Anything containing an airplane. This is an airplane wing. This is an airplane. This is an airplane. This looks like the cockpit of an airplane. That's definitely an airplane. That's a boat. I'm not checking that. Okay. And then here is how we can help you. And you're going to look through the different categories and you're going to find help. Okay. All right. I might have time for one more question. Let's see. This one can say that a lot of these things that they're asking about. Okay. Hello. How do you put a package together in IntelliTravel back office? I was having trouble putting it together. That's because as of right now, we can't technically put together a package. Um, you're like you're putting together one thing at a time and then you're creating your own quote and you're sending it to them. However, that being said, um, the marketing department is getting much closer to having that technology for you on the next um, round of updates. Uh, we've been talking about it for a long time and we have found technology that we like and now it's just going to be a matter of getting it set up for you. But in the meantime, you can go to your dashboard dashboard um what were we looking for book travel so we're going to go to our preferred partners and you're going to download the pdf and you are going to find your partners who package vacations and have them help you do it okay because if you're if you're having a challenge doing it in the back office i'm going to guess that you're not one of our very seasoned Intel travel agents, or you would have asked me, when are you going to have the packaging? <laughs> because you've been waiting for it. So I'm going to guess that you're a little newer. So why not get some help? Call up Delta Vacations. Call up Apple Vacations. Call up uh, Classic Vacations. Call up um, Vacation Express. You know, call up some of the, and you can look through and see what everybody does. Okay, you can look through American Airlines vacations. Give him a call. Call Juan. He love, he's your BDM, your business development manager. He, he loves to help you book stuff. Well, you know, lead you in the right direction. But, you know, for an agent, you can reach out to their support and get some help. But if for any reason you ever catch somebody who's having a bad day, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and just, you know, imagine that we don't know what they're going through in their life. And just give Juan a call because he's he has to be in a good mood for you. Here's your BDM. He doesn't have a choice. All right. So uh, let's see. The Intella address needs updating in the knowledge base. Yes, good to know. Um, but but in case you do need quick access to that, just find me over at Intelligest, and you can find it on my front page. You can also find me on Instagram here. Um, I have not been doing a lot of traveling lately, but I have traveled twice right here. I was in a yurt, um, in, and here I was, we were camping. Uh, here was a tree house that I went to. So I, I've been doing some, here I was in the yurt. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find, here I was camping. This is when I actually got into a, a tent and, and camped. So I do talk about my travel on here. I just have not been traveling in a long time. But if we go, eight, it's hard to find eight months ago when I was traveling. 
it's probably gonna be my here we go this is when this was the last time that i was at an event with you guys this is itq this is me this is the girl talking to you and tell jess and all my feathers because we were in vegas at itq and that was my handsome co-host um and this is me in nashville and this is me in orlando oh no i was in fort lauderdale there um, this is my wall of travel, so I give you ideas for traveling as well. This, I want to say this is in Texas. I'm not 100% sure. There's me on an airplane. Uh, let's see. Okay. There's someone reading my travel journal. Um, yeah, so I mean... If you go if you go a little further back you'll be able to find but you see i do a mix of things i show my family show my book um but i show my travel here i was at a spa resort called miraval which is wonderful i actually did um a site inspection it that's one thing i forgot to share with you on facebook we have our departure lounge okay and you can search for answers or get help from other people. Remember I told you about the fam trip? Here we are talking about fam trips. And let me go to announcements to show you what's in there. I know, it's a little up to 10. Okay, so to, today in, in like an hour, I'm going, to be in, I'm going to be interviewing Joanne, who is a VP of Sales and National Accounts from World Caribbean. And if I know our amazing, um, strategic uh, sales marketing, she's not a BDM, she's higher than that, Lori, she'll be with us too. All right, and then here was last week's Forward Facing Friday with Ama Waterways. Um, so I did a drawing for the biggest swag bag ever, and then I taught you how to actually do drawings yourself. Um, that was me with Celestial Cruises, but you can always put FFF, into the search and you will find it um our new academy is online so you can check that out in fact let's check it out let's check it out just because i love you guys and you know i want to do all kinds of stuff oops i went to the wrong place until university complete your training video I might have to fill out some stuff. Oh, there I am again. Oh, God. So in the meantime, sorry for using the Lord's name in vain, but um, I was uh, punished because in the last series of videos, James, our president, was in front of a fireplace, and I was making fun of him, saying, you look like you're on PBS. So guess where they stuck me for the second round? In front of the fireplace. I tried to be as un-PBS as I could, but th these are all of your, your trainers and it's a brand, brand new videos, so have fun with those. All right, so that's what I'm gonna say for today. Have a great weekend. Hopefully I'll see you live in an hour in the Facebook community so that you can watch those live videos. This was the contest alert. It's, it's over. Should probably take that out of announcements now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just turn off the. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to. Okay, forget it. I can't figure out how to do it. But anyway, there we go. All right. So you can find. Oh, here's what I want to show you. Here was the first ambassadors talks that we did. Silver Linings Playbook. What was the negative thought you had about the pandemic that was going to affect your business back in March? And how have you turned it around and continue to work and grow? And you get some really good, you know, I mean, these people, these ambassadors, they, this is all volunteer. Okay, it's all volunteer. And they just give up their time and their heart and their service. And they just tell you, they hold no secrets back. All right. So thank you, everyone. Um, next time we will be back with a more um, focused uh, business topic. It will have to do with getting you ready for the holidays and doing holiday campaigns and stuff like that. So get excited for that and have a great weekend. I hope to see some of you who weren't planning on being at the 
uh, Dream Maker tomorrow. I hope to see you at Dream Maker. Okay, and you will see me. Like, you'll see my face. You'll see me dancing. Uh, I don't have the best moves. You'll hear me singing. I don't have the best voice, but oh, and you will see my signature Dream Maker song, which you have to be on to believe. Okay, goodbye, everyone.